powerful antibiotics that can save lives, but the I-Team found many people are suffering devastating side effects. Tomorrow, local families who first describe their pain to the I-Team will share their horror stories with the FDA. And as the I-Team's Lauren Manchek shows us, they want to force a change. She looks a lot Look like Dad. It. Liz and Nick Newell smile when they remember Ollie, a beloved brother and uncle. He was solid as a rock. So. A vibrant, robust man who still played basketball, but couldn't withstand the impact of a powerful antibiotic, ciprofluxacin, prescribed for a urinary tract infection. He left this note before taking his own life. And really no end in sight to the ongoing and continually emerging symptoms, hands weakening and losing strength over time, jaw joint problems, shoulders creaking and popping, etc. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nick Thanks will read Ollie's entire letter when he testifies in front of the Food and Drug Administration Thursday. And we saw this drug completely changed, completely changed him. The federal agency is considering changes in how so-called fluoroquinolones are prescribed. These antibiotics are among the most powerful and are known as Cipro, Levaquin, and Neuroxin, to name a few. Thousands of patients have reported crushing side effects like ruptured tendons, nerve damage, and psychological impairment. The most important thing that's going to come out of this meeting is that the FDA is recognizing that fluoroquinolone side effects are much more disabling than the side effects of other uh, antibiotics. The FDA advisory panel is expected to say these drugs are not suitable for treating sinusitis, bronchitis, or urinary tract infections. It is powerful. Dr. Charles Bennett is one of the nation's leading drug company watchdogs. He has long argued physicians overprescribed these drugs. We're talking about going to physician's office, having a little bit of sniffle, walking out with an antibiotic, and then shortly thereafter, having these kind of problems. That's what happened to Andrea Ciani of Concord when she was treated with Levaquin for a non-life-threatening infection. She's up and around today much better than when we saw her last winter, but her crutches are never far away. I still have a huge problem walking. I can walk around a block. That's about the limit of my walking. She plans to tell the FDA just how healthy she was before she took the drug and is encouraged the panel is expected to adopt a new term fluoroquinolone associated disability. In providing a name, they are recognizing there is a compilation of side effects that people are struggling with. The I-Team spoke to the manufacturer of one of these drugs who said fluoroquinolones have been effective in fighting serious bacterial infections for years and that current labeling is appropriate. For the I-Team, Lauren Lamanchek, WBZ News. Lauren